<clears throat> this is a point in the show where uh, we give Harold a chance to say what's on his mind. Now we gotta do something to kill the time. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Huh? Bullies, okay? All right, well, you know who I'm talking about. Those people who beat you up on the way to school and the supermarket and church. <laughs> Well, I don't think anybody has the right to use physical violence on another human being. Well, all right, unless, of course, like you're Batman or the police or something. And then it's okay. <laughs> and, and I don't mind being attacked verbally. That's okay. You know, I'm, I really, I'm getting used to that. But I, I got a Walkman, so I don't even notice much anymore. <laughs> but when it resorts to fists, I just have to stop and say, enough. But usually that doesn't help either. <laughs> you know, okay, all right, yes. I, when I get punched by some moron, I can resort to, like, immature tactics as well. Like punch him back or something. Or I could be mature about it and crumble into a moaning heap. <laughs> and then I go home and I plot against them. Like ordering 80 pizzas to their house. <laughs> so you have to do that. You gotta use your brains. Or otherwise you've sunk to their level. And they're gonna win, because they got huge ham-shaped fists. <laughs> but those hands are no match for this. Head lice. We have lots more coming up for you, not, not just the haircutting story. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You know, other than about a week in October, I basically did nothing last year, and I, and I was fine with that. But even though I was doing nothing, my mind was still thinking about stuff. Stuff that I hadn't done and should have. Stuff that I had done and shouldn't have. But mainly it was coming up with a lot more evidence that, as far as I'm concerned, proves that I'm right and almost everybody else is wrong. And that was fine too, but where I made my mistake uh, was that I shared all that with my friends and especially my wife. And before you knew it, they were suggesting that I gather up all those opinions and stories and uh, take them on the road where they belong. I even went, uh, went to see my doctor to make sure I was healthy enough to tour again and he gave me the go ahead. He said I probably wouldn't get sick on the road but even if I did, he'd prefer I was thousands of miles away when it happened. So I put together a brand new show and I'm calling it uh, I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe. And we're gonna be doing 20, about 25 cities, starting in St. Pete's, Florida on March the 30th, and we're gonna end up in the middle of May somewhere out west. Uh, it's basically a, a lodge meeting, and if you wanna find out where I'm gonna be and when I'm gonna be there, go to redgreen.com, click on the city that's nearest to you. I'm hoping you can all make it, or I'm hoping a few of you can make it. I think it's gonna be uh, my best show yet, and if you saw the first two, you know that's certainly doable. So uh, looking forward to a successful tour. Otherwise, my friends and my wife are going to look like idiots. Uh, until then, uh, I hope, I'm hoping to see you uh, at the lodge meeting. And uh, in meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>